Hi guys, today I have decided to talk to you a little bit about the way I'm traveling and this video is going to be also in English because I wanted to change a little bit so I hope you will enjoy it. Let's begin. I have my paper here because if not I forget what I have to say and that's not good. So the first thing I would like to talk about is the plane. I always book ahead and I always use a website to book my flights. I mean, not to book my flights, just to check the prices and it's called Skyscanner. I don't know if you already heard of it, but it's super practical. You check, uh, you can see like in a month the different prices. You can check uh, one way or one way and the return. And that's what I use when I want to buy a ticket. So I just check the price and then I go to the website of the airplane uh, company to book it. Um, I'm that kind of person who doesn't really like when the, it's crowded, when there are a lot of people around me or um, at the same museum or at the same place, at the same beach, etc. So what I do before booking a flight, before um, deciding where I want to go, what place I want to visit, I just check if, for example, there are some holidays, like if children have holidays at that time, or if it's summertime, because like most of people take their holidays then. I also, uh, for example, if I am four days in one place, for example, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I will do my best to do um, to see all the things I want to see like Thursday and Friday because I know that on weekends there, there are going to be more people and I don't really like this that much. Uh, also what I do, um, I use practically all the time Airbnb so I really like this firstly because it's cheaper. Uh, last time I was, I don't remember, I think I was in Lisbon and I looked for hotels, cheap hotels in Barcelona because I was going there. And I went to this website booking and I saw the prices and I saw like the huge difference uh, there was between the hotels and the Airbnb. For example, for one night at a hotel, like 100 euros, let's say, you can have three nights in one Airbnb. Uh, second, I really like uh, to use Airbnb because you can cook there and you don't have to go to the restaurant all the time. It's nice sometimes to cook something. And the third reason, I think it's also super important, is that when you go there, you have contact with the person. Most of the time, the person is living like with you you have a room but then you have to share like the kitchen and the bathroom and that's very good because if you have some questions if you want to know something or even if you are thinking about maybe uh, settle in in the city you are in then you can um, ask some information about it so that's why I'm using Airbnb like 98% of the time I haven't used it in Tokyo because I was, like I said in my previous video, but it was in French, I said that I was very anxious about going there alone and that I would easily get lost. So then I took a hotel, but it was like a very small hotel, very cheap one and very close to the metro. So it was also a very good deal. Also, when I'm traveling, I'm traveling always with a backpack and it's not a very huge backpack. I will show you like on screen what it looks like and that's very convenient for me because that's very minimalistic. I take like just the things I really need and I know that if something uh, goes wrong or if I have a problem, I can always buy something in the place I'm traveling in. This is what I wanted to show you, I couldn't explain well, so I just have this when I'm traveling and here I have like these bags, I don't know how you call this, but like for, I don't know, like all the medical stuff, 
uh, all the makeup and that kind of stuff. It's, <laughs> it's not very well organized because at the end I throw everything like everywhere, but now you know what I mean. Oh guys, I also forgot to tell you about the backpack I'm using, like the second backpack I take to travel, like to visit some places. And it's this one. It's the one I, I found it because I had another one, a like prettier one, but I don't know where it is anymore. So when I was in Canada, I didn't want to wear like a backpack like this. I don't really like this because I know that some people can like put their hands in it. Instead, I like this because as you can see, you can close it like that and it's super difficult for people to open it while, while you have this on your back. So that's cool. Um, <laughs> in, practi in practically all places, all big places like capitals and big cities, you have what we call um, free walking tours that means that like for example every day at stay at 10 a.m you can meet like at one touristical place and then uh, have a group of people from everywhere and all ages um, and then have a guide who will show you like the historical um, city of the place you are in and that's free and i i when I can, I do this. I make this in Madrid where the guide was so adorable. Her name is Gloria in case you're going to Madrid and you're doing the free tour. She's amazing and um, at the end it's always nice. I, I saw that some people are not doing this but it's very nice uh, if at the end you can give like, I don't know, 5 euros or something like this to the person, 10 euros. So she's not doing this for or like nothing. I, I mean, she must have a salary for this, but it's always nice to give something to the person because um, they are most of the time they are students and they are really enthusiastic and really trying to um, make you learn some things. So I think that's really cool. But what I do also when I'm traveling, and that's usually, yeah, that's practically always the first day where I am in a new city and um, I, do, I don't do this all the time because there are some places I go to that are very small where you have everything you have to see in the city center for example but on the other hand there are also other places where you have things uh, you should see because that's very impressive but which are very far away from one another so what I do in that case, in order to like see better where are the places and to um, orientate, I take the the bu the, the bus. The bus. It's uh, there are several uh, companies like for example Hop On, Hop Off, or Sightseeing, and there are like like maybe some other. Um, brands but that's what i do but last time i was in barcelona and i saw the price it was like 30 uh, euros uh, for this bus and i said okay this is like too expensive they exaggerate um so instead what i did was to take a uh, uh, one 24 hours card so you can travel with the bus you can travel with the metro and that's what i did um, that's also fun when, for example, you are in one place and uh, you want you see that it's raining or it's snowing and you're like, oh, I'm not motivated to walk. Then you can take a bus and just take a bus, whatever it goes, uh, like if it goes to like Australia, if it goes very far away, don't take it. But if it goes just to the, close to the city center, you can go in it and just sit and like see the landscape, see the places, the streets. That sometimes the things I do, I remember I have I have done it in Amsterdam because the weather when I went there the weather was super bad and I I did this, um, and that's it I think. So just watch out if the bus this um, sightseeing bus it's too expensive, you can always take the one day card, 
And also I have noticed something there you have two choices most of the time it's like 24 hours tickets and uh, other times you have also this option 10 travels and very often the 10 travels are cheaper so when i see that the prices of the 24 hours ticket because they know that like most of the time it's for tourists so maybe the price is higher what i do is i take the 10 uh, travels tickets i don't know why i'm speaking super fast and after i'm like <sighs> I have to calm down. Another thing which is on my list is that before going um, to travel to see some places, I always have a budget. For example, I worked for two years and I, I put aside as much money as I could so I can afford to travel. I can um, sometimes when I have a problem and I have to change my accommodation, I know that I can afford it. Or that kind of thing so I think that's important that you know that for example for this trip for this place for example I can spend like 200 euros for instance and now like when you yet yeah, when you know this you are like more comfortable and you know that if something goes like differently from the way you plan then it's okay mm, what I do also uh, in order, well, I'm really interested in all the zero waste subjects, but I'm really not a zero waste person. Unfortunately, I'm not um, focusing enough on this, but just this is something I really want to do, like in the future, in the close future. But for example, uh, when I'm in the airport, I know that you can, you are not allowed to have a bottle of water when you have this security. Um, part when you have to go through this they throw away your water they, they don't really care so they don't really care so what I do is uh, before going to the security I always um, like drink the rest of the water or I I pull, pull it in the shrink if I cannot drink everything and I keep the plastic bottle um, I also at home have um, a glass uh, like a glass bottle, a bottle of glass for my water but I don't travel with it because first it can break easily and second it's um, it has weight like it's 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 not heavy but it's heavier than a plastic bottle so what I do is I just keep this plastic water which I keep like uh, two three days and change and change my water and I think that's better instead of always buying uh, like in the airplane or always buying at the airport because even there the prices are higher I think you have already noticed this so that's what I do when I was in Peru some years ago oops <laughs> some years ago I um, got my phone stalled and uh, from that moment I was like first super sad and then I become super paranoid from that time now I always always watch out for my stuff I don't have much I just have a backpack but I don't want it to be stolen anyway so I think that's really important like okay you are on holidays okay you want to have fun but it's really like important that you also take care of your things and not leaving your bag like unattended and talking to someone because it can easily be taken by, by someone else and um, so yeah you have to take care of your things but you have also to take care of yourself for example when you are working like even if it's like, like the capital of some place or very touristic one Try to avoid uh, to work alone at night or like if you, for example, have drunk too much or that could be dangerous. That's something I don't do. I don't usually, because I'm alone, I don't usually go out at night uh, when I'm someplace. I try like I try to wake up early and to spend all the day visiting. And sometimes that's true. Sometimes some places are different like beautiful at night so i try to work like in the evening but never like at 11 uh, p.m i'm not i'm not out except if i'm traveling with friends then that's different but alone i don't really do it okay and this is a subject especially for girls 
uh, when you are traveling and you have your period I don't take any tampons with me I don't take any other uh, thing uh, just my cup because first it's very practical you can have it uh, you can wear it uh, for a long time and um, uh, yeah it doesn't take place in your backpack so that's super practical and I recommend it I'm checking on my list if I have something more. Sorry. Uh, I already talked about my jackets. I will show you how it uh, look like. I really like it. It's not very pretty. I have it for years now. I don't really know. I think we bought it when I was like a teenager. <laughs> Maybe I was 17. I don't know, but I still have it. And that's the one I'm using practically for all my travels. And yeah. That's it. Okay guys, so I think I said everything I wanted. I hope I haven't forgot anything. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you understand my English because uh, my accent is not always very good and I don't always find my words. Um, and that's it. So, okay, have a nice day and uh, see you soon.